And let me describe what an annuity is. You see, like how we've been talking about going and investing in, like, say, the bank and putting money in the bank and getting interest on it. We normally talk about it like it's a one-shot deal. Like you go into the bank one day for $10,000 and then you leave it and come back 10 years later. The truth is that most people don't invest that way. Most people invest money, hopefully you're going to do that, on a regular basis. So they go into the bank every month or every three months or every year and they put in a certain amount of money into the bank. So we're going to look at what that can actually amount to over time if that is what we're doing. So we're not talking about one big amount, just a one-time deal and walking away. We're talking about a regular amount being put into the bank or into an investment. And over time, what that investment will amount to. So hopefully, hopefully everybody can understand the difference between those two ways of investing. All right? And we have two complicated looking formulas here. I know that when you see the formulas first, you're going to be a little bit, maybe a little intimidated by them. But this is what they look like. I'm pointing to them right now. I sent out a, a, a copy of them earlier in my email. So you hopefully will be able to get through the assignment that I'm going to put online later on with the same formula. So here's my formula, right? The R in the formula refers to the regular payment. Let me just see who this is on my phone. One second. Okay. All right. So that's, that's, a, that's a, I don't need to deal with that right now. Oh, excuse so this, me. Yeah, go ahead. So this isn't work to do now. This is just a lesson to do the work later. This is correct. So this is just a lesson to explain to you how this works. And then later on, there'll be a homework assignment on teacher ease that you can work through on your own. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. Okay. So I've just been describing what an annuity is. It says at the top of the page here that it's a sum of money that's paid out in regular payments. So you're not going to put it in one time. You're putting it in at several intervals, maybe monthly, maybe quarterly, which is four times a year. Maybe it's semi-annually, twice a year. Maybe it's annually, which is once a year. So what I'm trying to describe to you now is the formula we're going to use in order to make that happen, right? The A in this formula is the amount. So that's like what we've been talking about with principal and interest and, and, and all of that stuff. The amount is how much money I'm going to have at the end of the day. What's in that big pot at the end of the day? with the interest and everything, the principal I put in plus the interest that I have been earning. That's what the amount is. That's what the A is in this particular case. The R is a regular payment that I'm putting into the account. So let's say I'm putting in $100 a month, and that would be the R. The I is the same interest rate I've been talking about. So if it's compounding daily, then we have to divide by 365. If it's compounding monthly, we divide by 12. All the same things we've been doing where we've been compounding at different periods. And the N refers to the number of compounding periods. So in one sense, some of the parts of this formula are things that we've seen before. They're not new. The only thing that's new now is this R, because we never saw an R before. So this first formula is what you're going to use to calculate how much money you're going to have in that big pot at the end of the day after you've been putting all this money into the bank over a regular interval. Now, this says it's an ordinary annuity. Annuities don't have to be ordinary. But for our purposes, the most simple annuity is an ordinary annuity. And all it means for ordinary is that you have the same compounding period as the times that you're putting money into the bank. So this formula can only work in limited circumstances. All right. So the first formula is the amount. The second formula is a formula. That if I wanted to know, let me give an example. Let's say, let me just use uh, Elijah as an example. Elijah knows he wants to buy something in the future. And he knows what that thing is going to cost. Let's say it's $10,000. And Elijah is trying to figure out the interest rate is 5%. How much do I have to put into the bank every single month to be able to get to that $10,000 that I need in five years? That's the kind of thing that the second formula is going to allow us to do. All right? So that's what these two formulas are. Based on annuities, that's what these formulas are going to do. So I want you to grab your calculator. And I'm going to see if we can work through some of these annuity calculations right now. Here comes the first one. Hopefully you can see the question I'm putting under the screen. All right, hold on, let me make sure I'm putting it under there properly. All right, here comes the first question. It says, I'm, I wanna know the amount. If I put $500 into an account monthly, I'm getting 4% compounded monthly. 
and I'm going to do this for 10 years. All right? So let me start writing out what this is going to look like. The amount is the form. The formula says A equals. So I'm going to put A equals. Remember, the R is the regular amount. So I'm going to put R as 500. All right? Then I'm going to open up two brackets. Notice I have bracket, bracket here. So I'm going to go one bracket and another bracket. On your calculator, you're going, to need, you're going to need two brackets. One plus I. Okay, I need some help with the I now. This is 4% compounded monthly. Now remember, monthly means every month. That means 12 times for the year. So I'm going to say 1 plus 0 0.04 divided by 12, right? Raised to the power of, now the N represents how many times I'm going to be putting money into the account. I'm putting it in every single month. Every single month I'm putting in um, a certain amount of money. I'm going to do this for 10 years. So shouldn't that be 10 times 12 of them? I'm going to put 10 times 12 here. Now 10 times 12 is 120. I'm just going to put 120. And then minus 1, close that bracket, all divided by, I'm going to open another bracket at the denominator here. 0 0.04 divided by 12. So this is a big calculation for us to do. So on my calculator, I'm going to do this in stages. I'm going to work out the whole top part first. Then I'm going to divide it by the whole bottom part. So I'm going to grab my calculator and now and put that under the camera. Now notice all the parts of the function. Here's the equation. R1 plus I to the power of N minus 1. So I'm putting 500, which is my R. The 1 plus the I. Now, the I is the 0 0.04. That's the 4%. I'm dividing it by 12 because it says compounded monthly. And I'm raising that to the power of 120. Why 120? Because it's for 10 years. And 10 years, 12 times for the year is going to be 120. 120 times 12. Then the rest of it is just following the formula. Minus 1 over 0 0.04 over 12. Okay. Now, I'm going to put the calculator under the screen. I don't know whether the light is going to be that great or not. We'll find out in a second. I'm going to try to see if I can get all of this information in there, all right? So my 500, I'm only putting in the top part right now. First bracket, second bracket, 1 plus 0 0.04 divided by 12, close bracket, raised to the power of 120. And then I'm going to minus 1, and I'm going to close my bracket. Hopefully you can see what I have in my calculator. I'm going to try to get some more light on there for you. All right, I know it's a little dark inside here. Hopefully you can see what I have on the calculator. Now that's the top of the fraction. And what I just got, that 245, uh, 42. I'm not even going to write that down. I'll leave that as it is. Now I want to make sure everybody got the same thing I just got. So I want you to try that for yourself. I'm only working with the top part of the fraction right now. The 500, two brackets. 1 plus 0 0.04 divided by 12, close bracket to the power of 120, minus the 1. And I'm getting this number right here in my calculator. All right? And everybody try that for themselves. I just want, we're not finished yet. We've done the first part of this. I want to make sure you're all getting the same number that I'm getting. All right? So check that out for yourself now. All right? I'll give you a minute to do that. Okay, did everybody get the 245.416, whatever it is? Everybody yeah. got that? Yeah. All right, yeah. good. So I don't want you to delete this. I don't want you to write that down. I want you to hit the division sign, open another bracket, right? And then put this, the I remember is a 0 0.04 divided by 12. Close that bracket, now press equals. At that point, you should now have your answer. And we're going to talk about what that answer means right after you get it. So hopefully you have the same number that I got, which is a 73624.90. Make sure you get the same thing, because I'm going to write that answer in right now. So 7,000, sorry, $73,624.90. So think about what this means for a second. If you are I, right? had $500 in the bank every month. You went to the bank every single month, right? And you put in that $500 for 10 years. After 10 years, 
This is what the amount of money is that you have in the bank at that point. It's $73,624.90. Hopefully that makes sense. Right? Now, some of that money is your money that you put in the bank. Wait, uh, Mr. Kemo? Yes, sir. Can you show me how you got that number? Because I'm it's, confused. Okay, yeah, did, you get the top, did you get the top part already? Yes, I, I did. Ask, okay, so let me go back and show you that again. Here's the top part, the 245, 41, what? You say you got that, right? Right. Okay, hit the division sign now. All right, um, don't even, just don't, don't, don't write it down. Just hit the division sign. So just click divide? Yep. Okay. Open a bracket. Okay. And then put 0 0.04 yep. divided by 12, which is the same I that we had the first time. All right. Now tell me if you got the $73,000. Oh, now I got it. Okay. How about everybody it. else? You still didn't get it? I don't get it. Like, All right. Did you get the first part? Did you get the top no. part? No. Let's go back to the top again. So 500. Yeah. Open bracket twice. Okay. All right. Then put the one plus point zero four. Point zero four. Yeah. Divided by twelve. It's that's that's because it's four percent. Divided by twelve. Yeah. Close the bracket. Close. Yes. Okay. Raise that to the power now of a hundred and twenty. So you know that key on the cathode that raises it to the power. No. Okay, look for the... Okay. That sounds like it's Jaheel. Jaheel, you have yeah. a camera? You have a camera? Yeah. You have a camera? Turn on the camera, and I want to see what your, what your calculator looks like. And just put it up to the screen so I can see it. I can show you where the key is. All right, so turn on your camera. I don't need your camera on all the time. Just want me to see your calculator screen, and I will tell you which key is the right key. All right? It's, you can't see it? Um, let me see what I can find. Hang on. It's on. All right, so this is uh, your heel. All right, I want to be able to see your screen. No, I can't see your screen. You turn on your screen. You turn on your camera. I can see myself. Yeah, it's on. Oh, okay. Hang on a second here. Oh, I think I know what I need to do. Hang on. All right. Okay. So, okay. Jaheel, I can see your thing now. Let me see if I can bring you up. Now. Put, yeah, right. put your camera up to the screen. All right. That, you go ahead. All right. You see that key that has the X and then the box right beside? Okay. You see the X squared key? Turn, it, turn the camera back to you. See the X squared key? Yeah. The key oh, to the right of that says X with a, little, with a little box. Okay, press that? Yeah, press that to, to, to the power up. All right? Okay. All right, and then continue from there now by pressing the minus one. Oh, sorry, sorry. After you, put, after you go to the power up, put the 120 in that box. Sorry about that. I, I said I, I kind of jumped ahead there. Put the 120 in that box that comes up. Yeah. And then... Press the put, put the camera back. Put the, put the calculator back up the screen. The X minus one. The minus one. But before you press the minus one, you see that big circle in the middle of your calculator. Yeah. You have to press. You have to press the right part of that. Press it on the right side of that so that it, it moves it forward. And then okay. put minus one. All right. Close your bracket after that and press equals. Okay. Tell me what you get when you do that. Everybody else is following, okay? Yep. Yeah. All right. Yes. You have two. You have two point. Yes, that's a, that's the right number. That's the right number. Yes. All right. If you want, you can turn your camera back off. No, that's all right. All right. So everybody can still see my camera. Yes. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So. Oh, by the way, Jahil, let's come back to you for a second. After you get that number, <clears throat> hit the divide sign. Don't clear it. Don't do. Don't 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 write that number down. Just hit the divide sign right after that. After you, after you press the equal. Okay. And then open a bracket, and put zero point zero four divided by twelve, and close your bracket and then press equals.
Hold on. Okay, you should still you should add that points to the seventy three thousand whatever it is six twenty four. Yes. You got it. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Let's move on. Similar question again. All right. We're doing a lot of the questions the same. Oh, that's the answer. That's the answer. Yes. Yes. That's the answer. If you look at my screen, you see the seventy-three thousand dollars right there, right? That's yeah. And I'm just trying to make you understand what that money means, right? You Jahil, going into the bank every every month, you get your paycheck, you take out five hundred dollars. No, that may be a little high. Take out your five hundred dollars, put it in the bank. The bank manager says you're going to get four percent on this money. You know that for ten years. After ten years, you're going to have the seventy-three thousand dollars there waiting on you. That's the idea of investing. All right. Oh, okay. 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 Good. 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 Let's move on. Similar situation for the next question, All right? This time you're putting in $250. So I want to know what the amount is, right? I'm putting in $250 every quarter. So this is quarterly. That's every three months, by the way. But how many times a year is quarterly? That's four times for the year. That's what quarterly means. And I'm going to get 3.5%. And I'm going to do this for five years. So every, every three months are four times for the year. I'm going into the bank and I say, Mr. Bank Manager, Mr. Investor, right? My money manager, here's $250. He says he's going to invest it at 3.5%. And he's going to do this over five years. How much money I'm going to have? All right, so here's what we're going to do now. Same formula again. So A equals, so you're going to see if you can do this for yourself this time now. So A equals the 250 right? Bracket, bracket, two brackets again. One plus the 3.5% is 0 0.035. Okay? That's what 3% is. Quarterly means four times for the year. That's what compounded quarterly means. I'm going to divide that by four. Okay, I'm going to raise that to the power of, remember, it's four times for the year and it's five years. So I'm going to multiply four by five which is 20. In fact, I'm going to write just four times five here. Minus one. I'm going to put that over the same 0 0.035 over four in a bracket again. But we're going to do this in stages. We're going to work out the top part first. We're going to all make sure we get the same answer for the top part. And then we'll divide it by the bottom part. Okay? So here comes my calculator again. So 250, bracket, bracket. 1 plus 0 0.035, 3 3.5%, divided by 4, because it's quarterly, raised to the power of, that same button again, Jaheel, that we are talking about before, raised to the power of, and then because it's 4 times 5, why is it 4 times 5? Because it's 5 years, and it's quarterly, which means 4 times for the year, so 4 times 5 is 20. So 20 goes in the box? 20 goes in the box. Okay. You see me press that wrong thing again because I want to move one to the right. Yeah. I'm going to minus one. Close my bracket. Hit equals. That's all I want you to do right now. I don't want you to do anything else right now. All right? What did you so get? I got 47.58. Hope everybody else got the same thing. I got yeah. zero, 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 zero. Whoa. All right. Look at my, look at my steps again. 250. Two brackets. All right. Okay. And then fifty two right. brackets. All right. And then the one plus point zero three five divided by four. One plus zero three five. Yeah, zero point zero three five, all right. Plus four. No, divided by four. Oh. All right. Close your bracket. Raise that to the power of 20. It's 20 because it's 5 times 4. 4. Right. No, just, okay, okay. Put, okay, to, to, um, so you divide it by 4, really, and close your bracket? Yeah. Okay, and you, then you raise it to the power of 20? Yes. Okay, and then you move it one over for that using the same um, thing in the center, just like it, your calculator looks a lot like mine. So this thing in the center, you have to go over 1 and then press minus 1. Yeah, this is what it looks like before I think. Okay, I, I can't see a screen right now, so I have to go back to the, the layout piece and see a screen. But just hit equals and see what you get. I got 4.758. Yeah, okay, so it's in, yes, it's the same answer. You just have yours in what's called scientific notation. 
Okay. Okay. So everybody else on the same page with me now. Everybody else, Liam, I think, um, uh, Mohammed and Elijah, y'all got the 47.58. Everybody got that? Yeah. yeah I'm still trying to try okay. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. So we're not finished yet. Divided by now, the I again, which is the 0 0.035, divided by 4, put that in a bracket, hit the equal sign. Okay? So, hopefully everybody's going to get the same number I'm getting. All right? You can see my calculator, so you should hopefully have the same thing. So, I'm getting 5,438.28. Five thousand four hundred and thirty-eight point two eight. All right. Did everybody else get? I'm, I'm running it to two decimal places, by the way. Wait, I'm still doing mine. Okay, all right. It's okay. Not rushing you. Yes, that's what I got. All right. How about everybody else? Hold on. Zero point zero five. What's that supposed to? Oh. Okay, remember you're dividing by, let me just put it on in the calculator again, your answer divided by 0 0.035 divided by 4. And then you press uh, two brackets. You have to open the bracket. Though. Have to oh, bracket. I didn't do the bracket. That's why it gave me this. Yeah. It gave me a 3.39. Okay. All right. So, I, okay, so, I know what to do. I just made a mistake. Yeah. All right. No problem. No problem. All right. We're going to move on. We're going to move on. All right. So the next question is similar. Again, it's just a matter of putting the right numbers in. Right, so this one says eight hundred dollars. Now we're putting that in semi annual That's every six months, meaning twice a year. Semi annual means twice a year. I'm putting eight hundred dollars twice a year into an account, getting four point six percent. Component semi annually for eight years. Eight years. All right. Let me start putting this together now. By now, you're supposed to be getting the hang of this. So it's 800, right? Bracket, bracket. One plus, okay, interest rate here is 4.6%. So I'm going to make that 0 0.046 divided by, anybody know what I'm going to divide by? Two. Good. Because it's semi-annually. Raise to the part when it's eight years, twice a year, so that's going to be two times eight, which is 16. Right, minus one. Close that bracket. Now at the bottom of this, I'm going to have again 0 0.046 divided by two, but that's going to be at the end. I'm not going to do that until at the end. So let's all do the top part of this now. Jaleel, everybody, Liam, everybody. We'll need all of you for doing this at the same time. All right. So 800. I'm put the calculator on the screen. 800. Um, excuse sorry. me, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Can you move everything a little bit to the left? Everything to the left. So, okay. Like over here? It's, yeah, yeah, it's cut okay. off. Okay. Okay, now no I can see everything. All right. So, you not see my calculator, though, but I'm going to be putting my numbers in my calculator. Hopefully, you kind of got hung with by now. So, 800 bracket bracket, 1 plus 0 0.046 divided by 2, just like Mohammed said. To the power of 16. Why 16? Because it's eight years, twice a year. So that's 16 times. Move over one, minus one, close the bracket, and equals. I'm going to show you what I got in a second. But I want to hear what you got. This is not the final answer. So just a step to the final answer. 5.615234. Mm, no, you made a mistake somewhere in there. <clears throat> Anybody have another answer? I'm going to come back to you, Jahil. Wait, uh, I got like 351.06. Uh, nice. Very nice. So, Jaheel, what you have to remember, let me go through those steps with you right now. Right? I know the, the light is not that great on the calculator, but we just have to make, make the, the best of it. So, 800 is the first part of that, followed by two brackets. Yeah. Followed by 1 plus mm -hmm. 0 0.046 divided by 2. Yes. All right. Close the bracket. Then you're going to use a power key that we just talked about, the thing with the box beside the X. All right. Put 16 in the box. All right. Move over one and then minus one. 
So you have to use that key in the middle of the calculator, that round key in the middle of the calculator. Move over one and then minus one. All right, then hit your equal sign. Divided by two. I have to restart. Divided by two. Okay. All right. Uh, after the divide by two, you said close bracket? Yes, sir. Or after the box? After, no, you close the bracket first and then you go to the box. Okay, that's what I did wrong. Yeah. Go 16, then go over four. one, and then you minus one. Okay. What are you getting now? Oh my gosh. So, okay, take your time. Error. You got an error? Yeah. All right. I'm going to let you show me what you put on your calculator in a minute, but I want to finish the calculation. So, everybody else, put the division sign in. Open a bracket. 0 0.046, I think it is. Yeah, 0 0.046. Again, divided by two. Close your bracket. And then hit equals. Hopefully, the same number I just got. What is everybody getting? Let's hear about you. What are you getting? Um, I didn't. I didn't get an answer. Didn't get that answer. Sorry, I don't know what question we were on. We're on number three, the one that's under the camera right now. Okay. All right, Liam. What did you get? Oh, next break here. Liam, what did you get? This guy. He's on mute. Yeah, I'm not hearing. I'm not hearing him. I I, I got it right this time. Okay, fifteen thousand dollars, fifteen and change. And then divide. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then divide by zero point zero four six divided by two. Yeah. Six. But, but make sure that's in a bracket. Make sure you put in a bracket for around the 0 0.046 divided by 2. Okay. Also, after I answer divide, it's a open close bracket. Correct. Yes, yes, yes. After that. And then divide 2 and then bracket close or no? Yes, yes. Close the closer bracket and press equals. Yes. So 1.526373. Well, you probably, it looks so like your calculator is in what's called a scientific notation. Because you probably have times 10 to the power of something, right? Yeah, to flower yeah. four. I'm gonna I'm gonna get you to take it out of sign of notation in a minute because that's gonna confuse you. But let's just move yeah, on. So you're getting the right answer. Know, but just... Yeah, I never know what, what's right because they just look weird. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna fix that in a minute. It's just the way the calculator is displaying it. Answer is right, but it's in scientific notation. Okay. Um all right. In fact, let me let me just tell you right now. Go to shift and then more um hit the mode button. Right, the shift hit the shift key, and then hit the mode key because I think that's the same as mine. Did you do that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go down. I think I think it's probably which one says norm N O R M. Which number? Which number do you have beside norm? Norm. Yeah, you don't see a norm there. Eight. You know, eight, eight, eight. Eight. Well, hit eight then. Hit eight on the key. Okay, I did. All right. So that when you get the next answer, your answer should be the same as everybody else. All right. Okay. Okay. Wait, what do I do? Just leave it? It says norm one squiggly. Oh, two. so hit one, hit one, hit one. I don't think it really matters. All right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's continue. All right, the next question is going to be different. <clears throat> Let me describe what this question means now. This one is not the amount. Because this one is saying, I know what the amount is that I want to have. Or oh, putting it around me. I want to have $80,000. That's how much money I want to have in my account. Right? And I want to know how much I have to put into the account every month to get to the $80,000. If the bank is offering me or my investors offer me 5.5%, that's a different question and requires a different equation, right? Because we, we need a different kind of answer. I'm not asking you how much money I'm going to have in your account after the, what is it now, 10 years. I want to know if I am putting money into the bank and I want to have $80,000, how much you have to put in every month to get there? Does everybody understand the difference between this question and the one before? Does it make sense? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to take you back to the first page and show you a different formula now. We're going to be using this formula, right? The one I just circled. So it's the amount that you want to have times the interest rate over 
the 1 plus i to the n minus 1. All right? So I don't know if it's easier for you to do this one or harder, but we're going to do our best to see if we can get this right. At the end of the day, we're going to get the monthly amount or the quarterly amount or the semi-annual amount that we need to be able to make you know, the, the, um, to, to, to have a certain amount in our account at the end of the day. So let's see if we can get this magic to work now. What I'm looking for here is the R this time, R equals. Look at the formula. The formula says R equals. That's what we're going to be using. So the A this time is the $80,000. So the 80000 multiplied by, no, it says 5.5% compounded monthly. So I'm going to say 0 0.05 divided by monthly is 12. So that's 12 all over. Uh, Mr. Gonna... Kamak? Yes, sir. It's 5.5%. Uh, you're absolutely correct. Yes. So 0 0.55. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mohammed. So 0 0.55 over 12. Then I'm going to have the double bracket on the bottom this time now. I'm going to have the 1 plus the 0 0.055. Mohammed is right. Divided by uh, 12. Raised to the power of. No, this is 10 years monthly. So 10 years monthly, every month, which is 12 times, of the, 12 times for the year, times 10 will give me 120. Hopefully that makes sense. Then minus the one, close my bracket. We're going to do this in stages again. All right? We're not going to rush into this. We're going to start by taking the top. So I'm going to take the $80,000. I don't need any brackets for that. All right? Multiply by the 0. 0 0.055 divided by 12. Press equals. So you should get an answer looking like that. Times Sorry, you can't 0. 0. 0. 0.055. 55 five divided by 12. I'm getting 366.66666. All right. Hope everybody getting the same thing. I got 1100 over three. It's the same thing. In fact, um, on my oh. calculator, it can it can show it that way. That's just showing us a fraction, but it's the same number. Don't worry Mr. about it. Mr. Kamak? Yes, sir. Can you move your calculator? Which way? Uh, like uh, to the right. Can you see it better now? Yeah. Uh, can okay. you move it a little bit more to the right? He can't right? see the equation it's on sheet. It's oh, the equation? Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Okay. It's blocking the equation on sheet. Yeah. Okay, no problem. So, so Jaheel, you're right about the top. The top is going to be 1,100 over 3, right? So no, don't write that down. Don't delete it. Don't, 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 don't do anything with it except press the division sign. Mr. Kamal? Right? Yes, sir. On my calculator, it says sign text error. You have sign error? Yeah, error. Okay, so let's go back again. So 8,000, sorry, 80,000, right? Mm. times 0 0.055 divided by 12. That's all I'm asking to do. Okay. So you should get either 1,100 over 3, depending on your calculator, yes. or 366.6666666. Yeah. Are you, get, are you getting that now? Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, Light, what about you? You okay? Yeah, wait, huh? What's that? So it's like, um, wait, is it 0 0.05? 0 0.055. Okay. Divided by 12. We still see the error. Okay. Um, tell me exactly what you're oh, pressing. Oh, I think I know why. I think I know why. We're on. Okay. Okay, everybody else okay so far? Yep. All right. So that number now. I'm going to divide that now by everything on the bottom, by opening the C. Like when we're doing it at the top, we're going to open two brackets, bracket, bracket, 1 plus 0 0.055 divided by 12, close bracket, raised to the power of 120, move over 1, minus 1, close the bracket, press equals. Okay, I'm, just, I'm curious to hear what everybody is getting. All right? I'd love to hear somebody tell me what they're getting. I know what I have. You can't see my calculator right now, but I it want to know what you have. It's just error for me. Okay. 
Did you get the top part already? Yes, I did. Okay. What did you press after that? Go back and look at your cabinet. Tell me what you did after that. Divided by what? Go through and tell me. Divided by bracket, bracket. Mm -hmm. One plus zero point zero five five minus twelve bracket. No, it's not. No, it's, oh, it's not minus twelve. It's divided by twelve. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. So it's one plus zero point zero five five divided by twelve. Zero point zero five five divided by twelve. Close your bracket. Close bracket. To the power of using that same thing with the box. Box one twenty. All right. Move over one over. and then press minus one. Okay. Now I get five hundred one point forty five. Fifty four. What? Five hundred one point five four. Yeah, I got that. Okay. Good. It says forty five for me. I don't get it. It should be 501.54. Oh, math is so complicated. I don't get it. Neither do I. Okay, well, let's do it again then. All right, let's start with the top part again. Okay. Work out the top again. So 80,000. Okay. Times 0 0.055 divided by 12. Fuck. Press the equal sign and then stop. Okay. Okay, what did you get? 366.6. .6. Okay. Don't clear it. Press your equal sign. Not equal, sorry. Press your division sign. Okay. Open your bracket twice. All right. And then we're going to put the one plus. All right. Point, point zero five five. five. Okay. Divided by 12. Divided by 12. And then we're going to close the bracket. Okay. Raise that to the power of uh, 120. Make sure you move over one and then press minus one. Oh, now I get it. Okay. Everybody else okay? Yeah. Okay, good. Two more on this page. Similar. Same formula. So now it says, so by the way, let me just tell you what this number means. <clears throat> I want to buy an $80,000, let's say it's a car, some fancy BMW or something like that. I want to buy this $80,000 car, and I need to know how much I'm going to put into the bank every month for 10 years to, at 5.5% to be able to get that car. No one know that I need to put in $501.54, all right? If I do that, I'll have my $80,000 in 10 years. That's what we're talking about. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, let's move on. Similar question, except this is quarterly now. The first, the, this one that we just did was monthly, this one is gonna be quarterly. So the R equals again, all right? I'm gonna put the 150,000 multiplied by, I don't really need a bracket, multiplied by the interest rate is 3.5%, so 0 0.035. This says quarterly. I'm going to divide that by four because it's quarterly. And on the bottom, I'm going to put all the stuff that we know. Bracket, bracket, one plus 0 0.035 divided by four. What am I going to raise this to now? This is for 20 years, and it says quarterly. 20 years quarterly. I'm going to, I'm going to raise that to the power of what no? Let me just think now. Four times a year for twenty years. So I'm thinking. What, what, what do you What do you think? Eighty. Yeah, because that's twenty times four, which is eighty. And I'm going to minus my one and go from again. We're going to do this in stages. We're going to top part first. Everybody with me now. So the one hundred and fifty thousand. One two three. Multiplied by point zero three five divided by four equals. Now, hopefully you all have the same thing I have, because I'm not going to go any further until we're all on the same page. What are you all getting when you do that? I know what my calculator says. What are you getting? So we're just going to stop there and make sure we're all on the same page. Come on, somebody talk to me here. Anybody? 
um, I got 1,312.5. Okay, I wonder if everybody else got the same thing. I got the same thing. Okay, great. How about everybody else? Liam, what did you get? Did you get the same thing? Can I hear you, Liam? Unmute him, I can talk to us. Let me just bring up this sidebar here so I can see who is there. All right, so come on, Liam, unmute him, I can help us out. Uh, Colleen, can you tell me what you got on yours? Did you get the same thing that we got? Yep. The one three one two fifty. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right. So let's continue. Let's continue. Okay. So we're not done yet. Because now we have to divide by, divide by, bracket bracket, one plus point zero three five again. That's the three and a half percent divided by four. Close bracket raised to the power of 80, go over one and then minus one. All right. I need to know what you got. Everybody help me out here. Somebody should be able to give me an answer for this. How much do I need to put in every three months or four times for the year to have $150,000 in 20 years? That's really what I'm about. I'm an investor. I know what I want in 20 years. I need to know how much you put into the bank every month, every, sorry, every three months or every four times a year to get there. I know what I have, what are you getting? I'd love to hear somebody tell me what they have before I reveal my answer. Then we have one more question after that. Anybody? And by the way, Jaheel, is your calculator working better now in terms of the numbers it's giving you without all the times 10 thing? Yeah. Okay, good. 1,282.91. Mm, no, I'm not getting that. Um, unless I made a mistake, that's not what I'm getting. Let me just make sure I didn't make a mistake here. 1.035 to the power of 80 minus 1. I think I'm I right. 1,302.56. Well done. Mohammed, well, check yours again. 1,302.56 is what I got as well. Okay. So check it again. Check your steps again. Check sure, make sure you put in all the, the right numbers and see if you got that. Um, see, if you, see if you can get the same answer that I just wrote under the camera. 1302.5. Wait, uh, can, can I do the first step again, like the top? Yeah, you go ahead. You go right okay. ahead. All right. After I finish the next question, I'm going to stop there. I'm not going to do the last two word problems yet because I want to give everybody some practice with doing these first before I do the word problems. I'll probably do the word problems in, my, in our next session on Tuesday. We'll do some more of this stuff on Tuesday. But for now, I just want to practice the skill of using the calculator for these kinds of questions. So we'll do one more after this. After Mohammed gets his answer, we're gonna do one more after this. We'll just talk about that last question for a second. Payment needed semi-annually, which is twice a year. Oh, excuse me. Yes, sir. Is this for homework? I, got I haven't given it a homework yet. Homework is gonna be on teacher ease later on. Okay. Wait, uh, Mr. Kamak? Yes, sir. Is the answer 1,302.56? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's got, I'm going to give you similar questions like this on teacher e so to get some practice um, later on. It's not there. Are the numbers going to change? The numbers will change. I'll have, you know, different amounts and different interest rates and all of that. Yeah. Um, but you'll use the same two formulas. Yeah, go ahead. Sure. Yes. How do I check my grades? If you log into your teacher ease account, it will be there. On grades? On the teacher ease, you'll if you if you click on grades, you'll see exactly what your but grade I, is. I do it all the time, and I don't see my grades. Okay, well, there was an issue with it a couple weeks ago. I think they fixed it though. When I'm finished here, we can talk about that. All right, let's just finish up this first, and then we can talk about that. All right, let's get to the last question. So, payment needed semi-annually. Oh, sorry, I don't think you can see that. Semi-annually means twice a year. Right, um, to have forty-five thousand dollars in four years, 
6.75% compounded annually. Okay, that's what we're trying to do here. So let's go through the process. My R is equal to the 45,000 multiplied by is 6.7%, so that's 0 0.067 divided by, semi-annual means twice a year, divided by two, all over, usual thing, bracket, bracket, one plus 0 0.067 divided by two, raised to the power, okay, this is four years twice a year. So four years twice a year should be eight. Then minus one, close that bracket. Okay, so this is our last question. Let's see if we can get this now. Let's work on the top part first. So I have my calculator ready. Everybody else should have their calculator ready. So 45,000 multiplied by 0 0.067 divided by two. All right, okay. I know what I have. What do you have? If you get a fraction, it just means that you just have to press that S to D key to turn it into a decimal. Anybody else have 1507.50? Yep. Yes. Okay, perfect. Again, leave that number in the calculator, hit the division sign, Open your bracket twice, and then 1 plus 0 0.067 divided by 2, because it's semi-annually, raised to the power of 8, because it's for four years semi-annually. And then I'm going to go over 1, and then minus the 1. Close my bracket. I have my answer. I'd like to hear what your answer is now. Yeah, Lim, I haven't heard from you at all. Let me see if I can get an answer from you. You got the top part of that, hopefully, already. And then we're going to work on the bottom part now. Liam, what do you have? His mic is still off. He's muted. Still muted? Okay. All right. So does anybody else have a final answer for this? I won't show you my answer yet. I want to know what you have first. We all, we, all, we all got the same top part. What about the bottom part? When you put the bottom part in. I got 4998.02. Wow, excellent. Excellent. Actually, 0 0.03 when you round it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm going to leave it there.